Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farming Sim 22. It is a beautiful fall day here in Elm Creek, and it's mowing day. Mowing day. So we might have gotten confirmation that if we wait one more month, so we wait four months instead of three, like we did, then we will get a higher yield. So then there's the question of, well, do you do it every four months and get higher yield when you do it, or do you do it every do you do it every three months and uh, get to mow more, right? Because you'll get one extra for every twelve, thirty-nine, twelve. Oh, my brain is not working. There's no channel for you. 12. So you'd get, yeah. Well, it's the four three ratio. That makes sense. Four three months. So, um, I am going to prefer to do, do it every four. And even if that doesn't make like the most money, it's just time wise, like actual game playing wise, I'd rather just do it once and get the higher yield then do it more often for more money, if that makes sense. So, because either way you're putting in the same amount of uh, time. So, here is one of the other nice things. If you're someone like me who just loves hiring workers, the nice thing about planting a field of grass instead of trying, like we could have just use like all I mean we can have a ton of grass like on this property anyway so we could have used this as a field just you know mowed this grass here probably gotten some but one advantage of a field is you can hire workers I don't know if I will because we don't really have anything else to do hey train um but just a heads up for those out there who may have never planted a grass field before So we need to lower this, we need to lower this, we need to make sure that the selected work mode, I think that's correct. So if we go to toggle, yeah. So widespreading is what we would do if we had to like TED for hay. Swath is going to give us basically a windrow, which is what we want for baling. And there you go. And now we just do this for a very, very long time. And I've already hired a worker. Um, I don't know why I do it so much. I think I just, I like that they can drive in, in a straight line. Like if there's a feature in this game where I could, like once I got started, I could hit a, I don't know, I guess that'd be cheating, but if I could just drive in straight lines, it'd probably be different. Uh, but I can't, so I usually just hire a worker um, because it's not that expensive. We can afford it. And that is a row. And what we could actually do to justify my worker use is we can actually get this baler going as long as this tractor is big enough to haul it, which it should be. So we're at 220, we have this silage um, additive, or this, is that what it's called? Silage additive? Something like that. So apparently we'll get like a higher yield from our grass. That's, what, that's how it works with loading wagons. I have not used one yet with a uh, baler. And it should unload automatically because it's a square baler. Um, the round balers do it now too, but you still have to like stop and wait for it to open and close. Whereas this just goes down this conveyor belt and it'll just drop off. You never have to stop. You can see our silage additive is slowly going down. So it's like 0.01, 1 100th, 1 100th, 1 100th. Um, so we are definitely using that up, which means we're getting more grass. So more bang for the buck, which also will mean more silage, which uh, is kind of a double whammy. So we'll get rid of that menu. So I feel like this worker 
hiring the worker actually turned out to be a really good idea because this bailing process is going to take quite some time. But then we're going to make... Um, so we have to manually unload... How do you do that? Do you have to turn it off? And then Y. And we're doing that because I don't want to accidentally throw a bale in the field because I'll lose it and forget about it, and I don't want to do that. And I don't want to miss that little bit. So if we do the math, some rough math, you'll notice that each bale is 6,000 units of grass here. And silage is usually 500. Like we could check probably, not probably, we could check. Um, okay, maybe maybe it is a probably. There, silage. Yeah, 560. Wow. I wasn't planning on taking that long to find the item. No. So if it's 500, when we're all said and done, we'll get $3,000 a bale. That's a lot of money. That's why I wanted to try starting with this. Um, do we only have those two bales? I thought we had more. One, two, three, four, five. So we already have like 15 grand on the on the ground, and we still have third of the, quite a field to go. So. This should be lucrative and hopefully a good decision. And I think we'll just turn that off and work a little bit. It's really weird that the worker stopped. There's really no reason it should have. We are going to do one loop here. Pick up these little bits, little bits. Hopefully I got that, yep. So now our goal is just to not miss. Look at that. When I when I said about, you know, said the thing about not driving in a straight line, like I meant it. Like you have so much wiggle room when you bail to just not miss, and I keep missing. It's really a problem. And if I go into stuttery first mode, first view mode, 
I guess this maybe helps because you can follow that little like nose on the tractor. I do not like that shakiness. So I like this. We can even maybe... I thought you could go further. Seems about the max bird's eye view there. Look at that. I missed that entire row and didn't even notice. So let's go get that. Trying to one one difficulty of recording at nights is that uh I just worked all day. So sometimes my brain is like just chill and farm. Which is basically what I do. I mean, I'm not gonna say recording videos is strenuous. Uh but I was trying to think of like what's been happening in the world, like what to talk about. All I could come up with Super Bowl. Is anyone watching the Super Bowl? Are we all excited? I mean, here's the thing. It, it's going to be better than the college championship bowl, which has become just the most boring event basically every year now. Um, I, I kind of forgot about this, forgot about it this year. I woke up and I'm like, oh, check the score. Okay, Georgia won. All right. Same old, kind of same old, same. Not that it's like their fault. I mean, they're just complete dominant powerhouses, much like the Huskers were in the 90s. Um, but but we can't can't hold on to that forever. Um, but yeah, Super Bowl is exciting because it like changes every year. Like obviously the Patriots sort of dominated for a while when Brady was with them, but that rain is over. So now we get Rams Bengals. Like what is that is the weirdest. If you if you would have asked me 2 years ago, 2 years, which two teams would do will you, will you never see in the Super Bowl? It probably would have been like the Lions, which is the team I cheer for. Um and then probably the Rams or Bengals or both. Right? I I'd, I'd have a top 2 of 3. So it's really exciting and I'm cheering on Stafford because he was a lion and I always said this guy is an amazing quarterback and he just does not have a team to to support him and then he leaves the Lions and goes to the Rams and first year goes to the Super Bowl so I am really excited to uh, cheer him on and hope hope he gets a ring and then if he wants to like just go back to the Lions and get them a Super Bowl I wouldn't hate it wouldn't be mad wouldn't be mad at him but then this other stupid thing of like having these games on weeknight, like like work nights, like why does college football play on Saturdays all season and then the championships on a Monday night? Like that is the dumbest for years. I've been just basically ever since I started working a job. It's like, why? Why do they do that? Just keep it on Saturday. It could be like an actual big event. And then Super Bowl Sunday, which... I get it. They play on Sundays. That makes sense. But it's also like that can be on Saturday. Like people want to like get together, but you can't. I mean, I guess you could get together and watch the game till like 11 o'clock on a Sunday night, but I ain't going to do that. I'll watch second half till halftime and then hit the old dusty trail, which is bed bedtime. Bedtime's at 830. Best time to go to bed, 8.30. Best time to wake up, 5, 4.35. When it's dark out, it's best. I promise you, if you haven't done it, it is the mo It is the best part, the best time of the day is like 
4.30 a.m. No joke. Peaceful. World's not stirring yet. Oh, it's, it's, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely thing. So, Super Bowl. Olympics, I guess? Those are happening? I honestly think, like, okay, so we're... We're all called like cord cutters now. If I guess if you're one of us, if you, if you have cut the cord. Um, and maybe I just don't know where to look, but I feel like if you're a cord cutter, it's really difficult to watch the Olympics. Or like anything for that matter, football. It's, it's really difficult to watch things like that, which, eh, whatever. So, I used to really love watching the Olympics. Now it's too difficult to watch. Like to find, so I just uh, don't. I haven't kept up. No idea what's happening. I know it's winter. Why are we in China? Why do we go to Russia? Why, of all the like stable democracies in the world, why are we going to Russia and China for the Olympics? I don't get that. No, that's not political. That's just historical. That's just literal history and fact. Um, all right, hearing a hard left from that topic, let's unload these bad boys and, wait, is it Y? There we go. That is a lot of bailage, bailage, bales, there's a word for it. And then we can un, no, we can fold this. We still have 96% uh, additive. I'm going to park this. So we're done. And we'll use old blue here to wrap these bales in blue wrapping foil. And for the longest time I could not tell what these like white things were. It's, it's the wrap, which makes sense. So, you can kind of see how that works-ish. Okay, so we gotta unfold. We gotta turn on automatic drop. And I think that's it. I don't think we have to turn it on. I think it will do it. Yeah. This is amazing. Where do we sell silage? the dealer or the biogas, which aren't that close. Um, the, the biogas is here, but it's sort of a pain in the pain. It's sort of a pain to sell there. Cause you have to like, I think you have to get it in that bucket. I may be completely wrong about that. So we'll probably go to the animal dealer, which is way over here. But then that's one of those you just drive in the like little icon. We could try selling it at the biogas. I'm trying to think. Have I done that? Yeah, we might as well drive it up there and see. But if we have to dump it in the... Because I'm thinking of like where you dump the loose silage is in that like hopper. Um, if we have to do that, I don't want to mess with it. Uh, if you're kind of newish to Farming Sim 22, uh, another sort of new thing is when you wrap silage, you you still have to let it ferment like you would if you put grass or chaff into a bunker. So that's always been a thing in the bunker where you have to cover it, let it go for uh, like 24 hours, uh, and then kind of un unwrap it. It used to be before this one where when you would wrap a bale, it would autom like it would immediately be silage. Like right now, it would be silage. Um, but if you see here in the bottom right, in the bottom right, it says bale grass fermenting zero. And so, starting in twenty two here, you do have to let these ferment as well. 
again for 24 hours. I don't know if that changes on difficulty. Um, so I guess we'll see if this takes a day or two days um, since we are playing on the medium. No, I have economy set to easy. So I don't know if that affects anything, but either way, we have to let it ferment and then we have to unwrap them. So you can't actually use them while they're wrapped uh, to sell or to like put in the, uh, the, the mixer for cows. So you'd have to unwrap them all, which is easy. You just have to do it. So a couple differences with bale wrapping on this one. Let's see, we can check the sales. Not that we really have money. Manure. One of those things. Yep. Not for us. Thoughts on the blue color? Are we good with that? I think if we ever... I'm pretty sure we can just go back to the shop and change the color at any point. They have like pink is usually my go-to. Um, they have like the classic white. Is there like a black? Uh, you know what? We could just... Instead of guessing, we could just actually do... Um... Yeah, I had them except had them all except this green, which that one's for boring people. How many people did I just offend? How many out there are like, hey, I love green foil. It matches the grass. I love the whole landscape to be green. Nope, I like my bloom pinks. So have we calculated our money yet? So there's four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty-four ish. Twenty-four bales times three, twenty-four, forty-eight, sixty thousand, sixty k. And we can do this two to three times a year, depending on the. No, we'll do this twice a year. So 120 a year just from this. And then you think of horses and it takes two years to make like 15 grand. Crazy, crazy stuff. So then the weird thing about the next, the next video is we'll basically just sleep through winter. Like we're really going to just hibernate. Wake up, sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up, sleep, because we can't mow, because grass doesn't grow in the winter. And we have to wait till like June for this wheat. Um, we could consider getting chickens and just using like bot wheat just to do, just have something. Um, since we are going to make some money here, but we'll have to kind of plan it out. But it's going to be a strange, a strange first winter. Come on. Wish these would wrap a little faster. Come on. But not too many more to do. And I actually think that's 25 minutes. Um, This is really probably where I will need to stop anyway. So I'll just take a couple minutes off video and just finish up these last five bales. And then next time we can start out the video by picking them up. Um, so I won't skip that process since it's the first time on this series that we'll do it. So I'll start next time picking them up with our bale 
loader upper. Um, and then we can actually sell and make kind of our first large chunk of money this go around. So hopefully that sounds good. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Like, subscribe, comment if you wish. And as always, have yourselves a very nice day.